If you want to take the output of OBS and turn it into a virtual webcam on your computer, it's really easy on Windows. There's a plugin called Virtual Cam that you can install. But if you want to do it on Mac, it's a lot less straightforward, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Outside of OBS, you're going to need one other piece of software called CamTwist installed. We're going to use this to create the virtual webcam. You're also unfortunately going to have to disable system integrity protection, as we're going to be using a tool that live injects some code into OBS to make its output available to CamTwist. Great, so the first step is for us to set up our scene in OBS. So for me, I want the background to be my desktop, and I want my webcam to be in the bottom right. So I'm going to add a desktop capture and make that my bottom display. Pardon the mirroring. Great. Now I'm going to add a video capture device. I'm going to put that in the bottom right. Great. And we're all set there. OK, so OBS creates a scene. CamTwist will create the virtual webcam, but before we set up CamTwist, we need to connect the two. And to do that, we're going to use a tool called Siphon Inject. To do this, you don't need to install any additional software. It's already part of OBS. Click Add. Click Siphon Client. That's fine. And now before we set up any of these options, you want to click Launch Siphon Inject. Now, it's going to show all of the applications you currently have running. Go ahead and click OBS and click Inject. Once that's finished, you can exit this here. Now coming back to the properties for Siphon Client, change the source to OBS Injected Siphon. We want to click Inject here and change application to be OBS. You might need to scroll a bit. Great, we're all good. Now you're going to see it's going to mirror what we already have up here. Go ahead and just resize that. And one thing you'll notice is this siphon layer here is taking the entire rendering area in OBS. This is actually an OpenGL layer. You even notice any of the light gray areas even including here too. Uh, one of the steps here is going to be to actually resize this to get as little of that light gray area as possible. I actually have a little tiled window manager, so I'm going to have to get rid of tiling there. You'll notice that the siphon client layer we just created got smaller too. Now go ahead and make this as big as you can in the scene. Oh my God, sorry for the crazy visuals. And then move that to the bottom layer so we can't see it anymore. Lock it and make it no longer visible. Okay, we're all set up with siphon inject. Next up, cam twist. So go ahead and open it up. I just have it launch on another screen over here, which I'll drag over as soon as I have it. There we go. Now you are going to want to open up your preview window as well and get that with view preview. Now before we mess around with cam twist, you should go to preferences and you should double check to make sure that your frame rate is something that's reasonable. I like 30. And you should also make sure that the video size, what it's outputting is the same as what OBS is outputting. So in my case, OBS is putting out 1440 by 900. Um, you should just make sure it matches that. And you will have to restart CamTwist to get these changes to take effect. So once you have CamTwist working the way you expect it to, with the right resolution and a preview that is black but about the right dimension, what we need to do is go ahead and go to Siphon, Siphon Server, change that to OBS, and there you go. You now have a virtual webcam with your OBS scene in it being passed through to CamTwist and are available in pretty much every application on your computer. So let's show this working in a Zoom call. So I'm gonna just come over to a new desktop over here. I'm going to bring down the Hack Club Slack over here. And let's just start a quick call to see if we can demo this to someone. All right, let's, let's see if anybody joins. All right, so I want to try something. So if I switch this to be my cam twist input, what do you all see now? Can you see my, can you see my screen? Okay, cool. I'm going to get rid of that red line over there. Um, all right. 
Cool. Sorry for the mirrors, but you, but you can basically see my screen and me at the same time, right? And it doesn't show up as a Zoom screen share, right? Cool. All right. Fantastic. That's all. I just, I just want to see if that worked. All right. Cool, everyone. Have a good night. Using this method, you can unleash the full power of OBS from green screens to having multiple video streams to pretty much anything else you can imagine into applications that expect input from webcams. If you're like me, that means Zoom, but it's also gonna work for Google Hangouts or Google Meet or Skype or something else entirely. I based this video off of a blog post written by Jeremy Williams, which was the only resource I could find on the internet on how to get the output of OBS into a virtual webcam on the Mac. And Jeremy, I am forever grateful for you writing that article.